Hi guys, uh, welcome back. In uh, this episode, we are going to be building a, uh, a custom slide-out tray for this pot rack system to go inside our cabinet. Uh, let me show you currently what we're working with and why I'm looking to do this. Currently, all the pots are stored down here. And as you can see, that is not the most functional type system. So let me show you what our plan is on how to improve this. So this is the idea. This is our cabinet opening. And uh, what we're going to be doing is putting in uh, full glides on this bottom tray here. And then that rack will get mounted to the top of this guy. So you'll be able to pull out the whole tray system. So to start off this build, um, constructing the, the bottom tray here, uh, we're just using all three quarter, three quarter inch thick material. And um, uh, some of this is poplar. Uh, here's a piece of pine. Uh, these two are poplar, but you know, it's just out of our scrap pile. So we'll use what we have. Originally, I was just going to use pocket screws and put it all together, but found these that already had some finger joints in it, so I think we're going to just put finger joints in it. Yeah, why not? And uh, so we already have them cut down um, to, to height here. They're all at like two and a half inches, and uh, now we'll just rip them down or cut them down to... Um, to length. Here's an example of uh, the, kind of the box that we're going to make. Uh, same kind of construction, I think. So we have a routed path in the bottom that we'll slide our piece of wood into and then all three quarter inch thick material, all finger jointed together. So then, granted dimensions overall will be different, but uh, you know, same kind of construction. Right now we have the this uh, homemade um, finger cutting jig thing, uh, all set up with uh, you know a half inch router bit. And it's three quarter inches tall to, you know, to make up for the difference in the, the wood thickness. So when these things cut through, you know, it'll slide something like that then. But then, uh, so then we're ready to start cutting these guys up. Great, so we got all of our slots here routed out. And let's just check, make sure all of our alignment uh, aligns. And it looks usable. All right. So now what we can do is we have this piece for uh, what will slide into our grooves there. So once we clean this up, 
and that will eventually slide in there. Alright, so then we can cut this down to size then. Alright, before we actually start throwing some glue in here, we are just going to verify that all of our pieces fit. Now, this is a quarter inch piece of wood, but it's probably expanded and, and warped a little bit. Just from the humidity down here. So, two ways to deal with this is, one, bring the router back out and open up all these slots, but what I think the other option is, is take the sander and just run it around the edge. I'll do it on the bottom side and kind of add in a chamfer so that it slides in there easier. And here is not where you want to be stingy with your glue. I would actually go pretty heavy and then wipe off the extra. Just check for square right away. Actually, that looks pretty good. Alright, so it's been uh, a couple of hours and the glue seems dry. So we can take it out of the clamps here. Alright, then we can just sand the slightly uneven spots and the overhanging here. Alright, 
Alrighty, so we have everything sanded down, and uh, what we did is just kind of rounded over these two front edges, and that's so that when the, uh, the door opens up, like it doesn't have a sharp corner to dive into the door, and then the other side is just to match it. So, Alright, so we're just using Varathane, Ultimate Polyurethane Clear Gloss just what we had sitting around, so that's what we're using. Really, this is just to kind of seal up the wood, so, you know, if a, if a slightly wet pan gets thrown in on there, it's not going to do anything. But these are the only brushes that I have. They are way too big, so we're going to make them less big. And just a lot of wax on, wax off. Well, we have uh, two coats of the, the clear poly on, and uh, it's dried overnight. Uh, we didn't do the bottom because, well, it's the bottom, and... Hopefully it's not getting water and stuff on the bottom, so uh, let's, uh, let's go put our hardware on and, well, see if it fits first and then put our hardware on. Something I didn't measure right. All right, we just took it on the bandsaw and you know, shaved a sixteenth off the back. So let's try it again and see if the door closes. That's pretty good. All right, for hardware, we're using these 22-inch uh, uh, full extension soft close drawer slides. So we'll set that at seven eighths.
hanging these slide bars here, uh, we need to come, was it an inch and seven eighths up off the bottom to hit our tracks and give us enough spacing. So what I did is I cut this piece of cardboard at one and seven eighths, and then just going and making a mark as to where we need our lines. All right, so we're gonna slide this guy all the way back against the wall and line up the center on that line. Seems to slide fine. Let's throw our uh, shelf in and hopefully we did everything right here. can see it is not going in and I think that's because we may have made our shelf just slightly too wide all right so we did have to take this and shave this uh, the 16th off and hopefully that's good enough closes. Alright, let's load up the pots and pans and see how that works then. Alright, well we did have to play some musical pots and pans to get everything to fit in here. Deal, but I mean, yeah, it, it works. We have finished up the build on this, and uh, you know, it does what it needs to do. Um, you know, time will tell how long this this rack lasts. If you want to see the review and assembly on that, you can check out one of the uh, other videos that I have. I'll put a link uh, somewhere up there. Um, but, you know, overall, you know, it does what it, it needs to do. Uh, is it perfect? No. But uh, it's a pot rack, so it does what it needs to do. Uh, we will take this back apart and uh, re, um, re poly the one edge that we had to sand off. Um, Maybe not, might just leave it. But, you know, overall, um, you know, I'm pretty happy with it. And, uh, you know, if you found this video, um, you know, helpful, uh, please like and subscribe. We'll see more of this kind of stuff and a bunch of other kind of stuff. So, until next time, take care.